joining us is union minister for steel choudhury birendra singh thank you sir for joining us so uh, there is a marginal reduction in steel rates for gst from 18.1 to 5% to 18% how do you see uh, this for the st steel sector sir gst you know the bracket in which the steel uh, inputs for production of steel are put uh, that is going to help the industry um, and uh, i hope uh, that this kind of uh, opportunity uh, ultimately what would be the result after 6 month or a year because gst itself uh, they are to modify certain things in the due course of time they have uh, already on record in certain things they are still to take decision but as far as this 5% uh, uh, you know slab is concerned certainly we are uh, the industry is uh, going to be benefited uh, so local demand for the industrial commodity is not picking up and the government measures are phasing out soon so how do you think the demand will pick up in the sector it depends you know most of the demands uh, um uh, if i i am very precise we as a country we are to develop our infrastructure we are not at that stage where there is very uh, meager scope for infrastructure to be developed at least i should say 75% of the infrastructure is still to be created to be developed so i don't think that there can be any reason where demand is not generating uh, if you take the uh, this budget figures about 4 lakh crore is only placed at the disposal for development of infrastructure and i have already explained in my uh, press conference that roughly if you take 10% of the component of the steel which would be used in uh, infrastructure development of this year that means we would be having Uh, a sale of forty thousand crore. That is how the demand is generated, and also to see that in certain areas we are to we are to see that marketing should also be made important for the steel sector. It is no more the necessity because there are so many alternative for steel. So to make steel only thing. which can be used for any kind of infrastructure maybe housing maybe some big building maybe some bridges maybe rail these are to be you know uh, marketed in a better way so i what i have said to my people that now don't think that marketing is only uh, where you cannot be innovative you will have to be innovative you will have to have some r and d where you can improve upon your marketing policies so a lot of big steel projects are facing delays and uh, you plan to uh, make to achieve the target of 30 uh, uh, 300 mt uh, by 2030 how will it be possible no no there are no uh, as such uh, steel plants where there is a delay uh, there there when we talk of uh, modernization and expansion of our psu we have already completed uh, our all the projects uh, i can say that in bhilai steel plant there may be uh, some 2 3 months more uh, when we would be finishing that expansion program also uh, but to have new projects that is the important thing and that is possible only when some transfer of technology takes place we would be encouraging this uh, transfer of technology maybe as a joint venture maybe somebody wants to put up his own from abroad he is at liberty the entire fdi which we can think of let him uh, invest here so uh, uh, as far as uh, you know in completion in complete uh, uh, projects or projects which are to be completed there may not be hardly any but it is of small uh, quantity it's not that important important is how many new plants are to come with new technology with the transfer of technology so could you tell us some new projects which are in pipeline yes there are you know um, this arstel metal this is one project where we are thinking of then there is a project from rinl in raibareli um, that is another project 
and also some of the private uh, you know players they are also thinking of <coughs> having additional capacity in their own existing plants and one very important um, uh, you know area that is uh, scrap based plants scrap based plants can have the best of the uh, steel quality because uh, uh, this is the general impression that if you want to have a uh, you, you know high end steel then you must have it through scrap based plant so there is one legislation which is pending in the parliament that is that 15 years old uh, uh, diesel driven vehicle should be <coughs> off the road uh, if that gets clearance then we would be having sufficient scrap we may not even to import scrap and there we would be thinking of putting up plants uh, what i see is i i would like to have a plant in north india because there doesn't need any iron ore or coal as such so that plant can be put up in north india where 44% of the scrap is available or would be available and the same thing i am thinking of in the western uh, country uh, states that is maharashtra and gujarat there also one can, we can put up one plant because if you think that what is the total import of our um, steel 67% of the import is in western uh, uh, two three states so to avoid that so that we can we can have less import uh, if there is a plant we would like to have that plant but that is only when this legislation is through which i have talked of